Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a breakdown today on the Hyperlite Varial Wake Surfboards and what makes them so special. What's up everybody, this is Mitch from BoardCo and I'm going to be giving you a rundown on the Hyperlite Varial Series boards and uh, what makes them really unique. So this board I have right here is a Hyperlite Varial Accelerator. And uh, I'm not going to so much be talking about this specific board, though it is really awesome. I'm going to be primarily talking about the Hyperlite Varial lineup and what makes them really special. The first thing about these boards is that they are shaped by the Varial company um, out of uh, there in Ventura, California. They're built here in the United States using their proprietary process, which I'm going to get into in just a second. Um, but the main difference is that they are shaped by guys who have made world-class ocean surfboards for quite some time. They also do a phenomenal job on wake surfboards, and these boards have been fine-tuned for riding behind the boat instead of riding in the ocean. Now, what makes a varial board different than a typical other surfboard? Well, most other surf-style boards are built using EPS foam. It's a great way to make a board, and it's, it makes it so it's really lively, it makes it so it's really lightweight, it makes it so it has a lot of buoyancy. The difference you end up having with varial foam, which is the foam that is sitting in all of the Hyperlite varial lineup, is that this foam is a closed cell foam that has very different properties while you're riding it. Now, what do I mean by closed cell? It, um, an EPS foam is an open cell foam, meaning that if you have any water or something like that that gets in it, it can create water intrusion and it can go through and deteriorate the core of the board from the inside. It also can be susceptible to UV damage. A varial board, however, with its closed cell foam technology is not susceptible to water intrusion or to UV damage. These boards are, for the most part, UV proof, which means they can sit out in the sun and bake and they're not going to off gas and create bubbles or warping on the deck. They're also not going to get water intrusion. So if you happen to ding or nick the surfboard, you may get a little water that gets in there, but it's not going to damage and break down the entire core of the inside of the board. Now, going beyond just the durability and the usefulness of them. The Varial Series boards are feel very different when you're on the water. They have a really lively, really quick, responsive feel. Um, now you hear the term lively feel a fair bit when you're talking about wake surfboards. So what does that mean? Well, when you're standing on a wake surfboard and riding it through the water, it's the connection that you feel to the board. When you turn the board to the left, how quickly does it snap and flow over to the left? Same thing when you go back over to the right. Does the board give you a quick reaction? Or is if you push down on it, um, on the nose of the board, does it push and then, and then spring back quickly and effectively? These different characteristics is what makes a board have a lively feel. In other words, it's going to perform and move really nimbly and quickly through in the water, and it's going to respond very aggressively when you're riding. It's a, great way, it's a great thing because it doesn't necessarily mean the board is more aggressive or harder to ride. It just means that the board can be more responsive when you want it to be. So it really actually lends to be a great board for advanced high-end riders, but also can be a pretty good board um, or board design for even intermediate level riders. Um, I wouldn't necessarily throw a brand new beginner on a varial shape, but any intermediate guys, guys that can ride without the rope and carve around, all the way up to pro level riders can really benefit from the technology that exists in the Hyperlite Varial lineup. So if you're checking out a new surfboard, you really want to go with some of the best of the best, check out the Hyperlite Varial series. They produce some phenomenal boards for a lot of diff different applications and really will help you step up your game. We appreciate you checking this out. If you want to, check out our YouTube channel for more videos like these and more information. As always, check out boardco.com for more info and we'll see you later. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you wanna check out more videos like we have, click the subscribe button below and check out the other videos on our channel. We really love the opportunity to be able to share our knowledge and our love of water sports and all the stuff we have going on with you guys. So if you give us a thumbs up, click the bell, click subscribe and everything else, we would appreciate it a ton and we can keep you informed. Thanks a ton, we'll see you later.